I wasn't surprised um, at the Washington Post. And I wasn't surprised at the revelations of the Washington Post. What was, what was bothering me, though, very much to the point where I disavowed the book, the really big story, that, uh, it's now been about a week and a half ago, was that I first was sort of blindsided. And I was told that the voyeur had sold the motel after I had seen him, as you didn't say, but as you do know, I spent time with a voyeur, as a voyeur, of the voyeur, and performing voyeurism within that very motel you mentioned for four straight days, four days and three nights, during which time I saw virtually everything that had been previously reported in the writing of the voyeur. He he wrote to me a letter, you know, in, in 1980 in, in January. He kept a diary. <clears throat> oh, he kept a diary. Well, did he see himself 15, as a researcher? Fifteen years before he contacted me, he had this. And what I wanted to do was to read the diary. I didn't really, I mean, I certainly confess to you if that's the word I should use. I was up there, but I always check out sources myself. I don't get things secondhand outsourcing material. I saw, I, was, I actually peeped through the grills. They are these fake grills looking like, the, you know, air ducts. And I peeped with the voyeur, with both voyeurs at that time. And, and I suggest voyeurs are what journalists are, in some cases, extreme ones like me. But the point is that what he saw, I saw. And what he wrote, I believe, is valid information, although an alternative view of America.